will lock him out of the situation. He has no choice but to fall back. And now FaZe have lost a lot of intel as Nico surely doesn't get much more than one here. Absolutely not. Stu will take him down. Perfect CS Astral Cloud9 being played right now. Good shot automatic as well to get Kerrigan. You're right. This is very, very good. Kerrigan, he knew they lost middle and tried to position in the site, but... Nine pounced and took full advantage of it. It's again another save. Rain and Guardian. They want the M4. They want the AWP. It's going to be six rounds in a row for Cloud9. Only the pistol and one round afterward. Oh, actually counted as a dink, but it was through the wall. Looked away exactly when the peak came in. But look at Kerrigan. This positioning is so good. Is he ready? To his left, he's not. Automatic. Although perhaps not expecting him to come from the right. Was ready for a push through to Tree and made do on it anyway as it's down to the two versus two. Well, not planted. Not able to hit the shot. Very close. Needs to stick the plant. That means Olaf needs to hold exactly on the doorways, and he can't do it. Automatic rushes in, and he's going to get both. Top nine find their fourth round. A little bit messy there from FaZe Apted. And they have the innards of the side. Skadoodle's got an it. Saving. Excuse me, I was going to say AK, but M4 picked up. You're right. He's got vision, and he's held them off. Glocks and one PT50. No armor, no nades. Apparently, he gets them around. That's crazy. I, I wouldn't have ever seen this coming. Nico. Just not getting anything done as they come on towards the site. He even saw them come through. Normally, the sort of situation where he goes absolutely wild, but maybe he's given them an opening now. As they will win the round, a full eco victory. Maybe that's the lifeline they need. Replicating the first half. K47, take him down. Another great shot by Guardian. Two versus two. They get the open plan down. They probably win the round. Look at the kits. Not available for Tarek or Stewie. And he'll try and make his way back towards the... Oh, the main entrance does get it. Another great shot there. He is racking up the kills right now. Guardian on 13 total. Stewie has to go for this one. It's the final round of the first half. No kit. Thankfully, there's a gap behind the flames as a result. He can get in this site, but Guardian is more than ready for that. 10-5. Very fast peak. So everyone's going to go towards B. They'll smoke towards heaven. CT spawn. Molotov, the bomb side. We have seen a lot of teams run this similar strike. We've seen them lining up the Molotovs right now. When Guardian falls back, he'll find all the Molotovs down. But Rain starting to hit some shots now. Warner, he's going to get wrapped on. Can only hit one. Wasn't efficient enough, but Guardian certainly is. Three in the round. Skadoodle finally gets Kerrigan. But he's got to go searching for Guardian, who's had an incredible game on the up now on the pistol as well. Four kills for him. It's all in the beep. To fall inside of the site, perhaps a little confused as to where all the shots came from. There was a team kill in that mix as well. He's going to offset the difference. Bomb is toward quad. He can pick that up. 14 HP. Olaf needs to make sure he gets the information and cuts off anyone who's maybe a threat toward that bomb plant. Guardian could actually be found from the angle that Tarek was holding on top of the E box. Thankfully, he gets off of it. That's exactly when Olaf strikes. Skadoodle left to the MP9. Has to go aggressive. Finds the first kill. And he still has the advantage against Guardian, but he's not planting. He's looking for the kill, and he'll get it. Jumping there, Skadoodle. In the primary opper's hands as Guardian gets smoked at the bank stairs. He has a bit of a gap, a gap that he can't react fast enough toward. And Kerrigan, though, can. He sneaks up. He doesn't have any smoke in front of him. Automatic to get the kill against him. And now Guardian goes to work. And it's down to a two versus two with no. Nico on the flank. No plant this time. At least not yet as Automatic knows that Nico's behind. Goes for the safe plant on the truck because there's not an ang angle available to him. And he's not expecting Guardian to go for the one-on-one -on -one peak, but he's got an angle held. And it's now 10 to 1 for FaZe. Five versus three. You've got to convert those round your Cloud9 at this point. Rain pushing through the smoke of the start. So they have a chance to capitalize. Nico has stayed alive in the smoke. And he's got great position on top of the site, literally. As he fires down on Rush, takes him out of the round, and he'll go back to the pistol looking for the planter. But he's a little bit early on his anticipation, and therefore Kerrigan has to make do and make amends by taking back automatic on a trade. Still, those skadoodles going to get on the site. This is aggressive for the op. Has to do something at this point, I suppose. Stewie down as well. He does have the bomb, skadoodle, but he could never get it planted. And phase again will reset Cloud9. Well, there we have it towards off for Cloud9. Olaf Meister hasn't exactly been electric so far. He might be able to struggle here. Indeed, he will. But Nico has been fantastic. Three for him, looking for the ace. Headshots all over the place as Nico lights them up to bring in the half. 13 to 2 in favor of FaZe Clan. A brilliant half at that. No contest at all. And it might be a quick first game if Cloud9 can't get the pistol. It's all but done as they. Completely destroy starting in the pistol all the way through. We'll take a break at halftime because I'm sure Cloud9 is going to take the time available and talk this out. Already toward the forklift. Bombs heading B. They've caused the rotation. Nico's walked in and taken Tarek. This will certainly sell it. Cloud9's out of this round on the fact that they're 
positioned wrong based on the call. Very well done from FaZe, and Nico may not even need any teammates <laughs> to work is, with them. This is supposed to be a fake, Matt. He's just going to kill absolutely everyone. It's unreal. How is he doing that consecutively? One kill through the door, then pushing on the site, showing his hand. He's just to find one and uh, cause a rotation there. Yes, he kills three, and Skadoodle would... Skadoodle gets in position. Again, on the FAMAS. Got a quite show for Derek, and... So they peek, they reveal that he's there. He's not able to take a shot because he was in transition. Good find from Stewie, but found by Nico in the end. Stewie will still get above, though. Nico's going rampant inside the site. That shows Stewie was nowhere. Wow. Great shot. A third kill for Nico. He'll sit small pit and a Molotov toward heaven. A flash additionally toward the tree. Bomb's going to cross and get planted for FaZe. Yes, yeah, looking very good for them now. Remember, Russian automatic. Guns for it. Still not going to have armor to work with that, but better than nothing. It's Olaf is the man outside of the garage. They're going to run toward him. Potential for an ace for Olaf in this situation. He's losing a good amount of HP, but no problem. He'll get all five. They made it easy for him. Clean sweep for Olaf, my staff. They line up. He knocks them down. Now nine. We'll make a bit of a desperate attempt towards the ace site. They know their deagles are strong. The surprise has to be on point, though. Guardian, they're relying on him missing a shot. He'll be backed up by Rain for now. He does miss one, so that's their chance to strike. But Rain, ready and waiting to... Welcome them in towards the bomb side. Two kills for him. Will they get any closer? I don't think so. He's in absolutely everything, Matt. He's denied the ace by Guardian, but his job has been done. Seven more. Sneeps oh, in they behind them, though. They think this is B because Nico's left A. And you're right, Olaf started to run, expecting that he needed to be on call for that position. And as soon as he does so, that gives away the signal that he's there. They turn around and Rush nails the shot. Nico is smoked off and has to get aggressive with the AWP. Bomb already planted, can do nothing of it, and they know now he's there on the wall up close, and they'll position accordingly. Double digits looking guaranteed at this point, Cloud9. He got a little bit dicey there as the bomb was getting planted. Nico, if he gets there a second earlier, he could have denied it, but not going to be the case. 12 to 10, Bay's starting to crumble somewhat now. Fights for them to try and take back position, oh, but timing yeah. is off, and Tarek walks in with the AWP. Back to a two versus two on automatic with a kill that could seal it. As Guardian is left on just the Deagle, and the bomb will head to A. Well, it looks like this one might be done. Guardian left in a two versus one. The bomb will be planted. He comes towards CT spot, but there are flames in front of him. He manages to negate those. Got to hit two perfect shots here. He has no information out to us to where they are, but he hits the first. Could have a chance in this one, but no! Cloud9 take it! After looking like this, best of three was over, Matt. Oh. Eric slides out, had to hit it. Nails Guardian, forget bomb plants. 30 seconds left, and they're broken. Cloud9 in the lead. Doesn't see it coming at all, does he? Guardian expects him to just go for the straight up plant. Here's a great shot from Stewie, and they're just looking tremendous right now. Cloud9 surely have done enough at this point. Tarek there going for the crazy play to go towards CD spawn. He had the bomb, goes to just go face Guardian straight up. Knew his position, goes out in the open. Stewie will have to fall back then. Tarek will hold towards the checkers, and that's exactly where they're coming towards. They're not going to check his position by the looks of things, surely. As Olaf Meister detects there might be something up here. He's not going to do anything about it. It's Tarek with three, oh make it four. This guy is insane. Carrigan can't do anything about this. Tarek has shot the round down. He might go for it, I was going to say, as he swung in toward checker. There was a chance he would find him in the second entrance, but Rush, it's the shot first. Won't matter that all they care about is getting the good start, and they've done exactly